In this exciting instalment of a video, Mary has gone to buy bananas. <laughs> it's, cra it's a crazy life that we live, um, but it, she has done it for a reason, because we are just, it's 7.15 a.m. on a Saturday morning, we are heading in to Bangkok for the first time. We've not actually been into Bangkok yet since we've lived here, and we're going in to run in two of the most famous parks in Bangkok and take you with us. They're called Lumpini Park and Benja Kitty Park, and I believe that they're linked together via a kind of over-the-road cycle way runway type one kilometer stretch I don't really know we're gonna go and explore it I think we're gonna see some really cool sites and we'll obviously take you with us and very importantly we're gonna have a coffee too but I need Mary to get back with the bananas because we've got to get going there doesn't appear to be any bananas in your hand. The supermarket wasn't open. No, oh, of course. What did Eight you get? Eight o'clock, so the cafe was open. So I got some caramel waffles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, right, well, we'll eat those all the way. To admit this is not an unwelcome surprise I did want a banana but when in doubt have a street waffle mmm that's delicious mm -hmm. have you ever tried a street waffle it's just nice to say street waffle at Lumpini. There are so many runners everywhere, so that's really encouraging. The only discouraging thing is they're actually wearing their masks to run, which is whew, it's gonna take us up a notch. It looks busy, it's gonna be really inspiring. Mm. Just walking towards, I say the start line, as if there's a start line, but you know, like there's a congregation place where there just seems to be a ton of joggers and we're just gonna head there first. So Lumpini Park, as I understand it, is about a two and a half K loop. It's the oldest park in Bangkok, I think. And it's about a two and a half K loop. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna run across to Benja Kitty, which is a five K loop. And then we're gonna run back to here. So we, we should end up doing 11, 12 kilometers, something like that. Awesome. Oh, I can't wait. It's so nice. <laughs> Have a minute. Confession time. I know I made a video just after I did the Iron Distance race in July saying that I'm going to take a year away from having any set goals, just competing when I want to and not focusing on anything, but I'm really struggling. And I think it's a combination of I like to have something to hold me accountable, something to train for, but I also think is there are no races over here, so I feel a little bit lost. Um, I would be interested to find out who else feels like that. Who is comfortable training without any type of race in mind? Is that your happy place or is your happy place knowing you've got a, something to tie you down? I think there's usually about a half-half split, but I think if, if there were races happening every weekend, I would quite happily just race and not have a particular race in mind, but there's just nothing, is there? No, although... I just got sent something of a midnight race in November, or run, or fun run I think. But yeah. All this is so. Yeah, we're going to do a half marathon in November, I think. We found one, so that's quite exciting. That's the start. So we're out of the park now. Now where? I think we have to. We're basically heading in that direction to get to the overground. We just have to follow this path along. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's give it a try anyway. See the market? Yeah. This might be, this might be the bit I'm more excited about than any of it. Yeah. To go on an overland connecting park to park. Definitely. Okay. Take another drink. Oh. Yeah, that's a good shout actually. Let's get stand in the shade as well. Oh, 
also, it's Brighton Marathon this weekend, isn't it? And it's London Brighton Marathon tomorrow. in tomorrow. Brighton tomorrow. Well, Berlin. Brighton today you're watching. Yeah, Berlin next week. Berlin and then London. So if you're doing any of those. London's a few weeks. October. Yeah, 3rd of October. If you're doing any of those, give us a shout. We'd love to support and follow from afar if we can and see how yeah. everyone's doing. Yeah, looking um, forward to seeing everyone on Instagram and stuff doing their marathons. Mm. Does that make us weird that we love the feeling of being really sweaty from a run? There's something psychological there, isn't it? It just makes you feel like you've worked hard, whereas in the winter you work just as hard but you don't sweat as much. And this is Benja Kitty Park. I could run this, I could do a few laps of this, maybe we build up to it, but it just feels good to get out there and I mean, July the 18th, I did my iron distance race and since that day, I've run above 10k one time. That's insane, before that, 10k was my shortest run. So I've really been struggling and this is just good for the soul. It just, even though, again, probably won't do much over 10k, it doesn't matter, I mean, the heat makes it feel like 20k anyway, yeah. right? But And I think in the future, probably come even earlier. Yeah. Get here at 6. Yeah. Be easier to run. Maybe 15k. There tends to be a tipping point in most of our runs where one of us or both of us, our heart rate just tips and shoots up and we can't control it anymore. It's almost like the body's gone. Look, I've given it my best shot keeping you cool, but you're on your own now. Um, and the heart rate just quickly goes up. It's just what's happened to Mary just now. Yeah. Um, because the heat is, I mean, I know I talk about it all the time because we're new to it, but it is overwhelming. And um, your body can only do so much to cool you down, right? Yeah. Now my watch has run out of power, so I can't keep an eye on it. But... Oh, has it actually gone? Yeah. Mary forgot to charge her watch overnight. Um, so she's relying on me. Like it or not, our bodies are still hugely acclimatising. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Yeah, I was like, loving life, flying, thinking this is great, and then suddenly, boom, heart rate up, and I'm like, yeah. you realise your elbows are sweating, and... yeah. You just have to be sensible for a long time, for a long time, if not for all of the time over here. And then running a marathon or running long distance when we get back to the UK, when we visit and stuff, should be a piece of cake, Walking even in the, the summer. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's good. Cute. I think we're learning. Yeah. Um, just to come earlier and earlier. I think so too. Must be like half nine by now. Yeah. Let's finish this off stretch and get a uh, most important part of any run, right? Coffee. The most important part of any run is coffee. Absolutely love this overpass. Just reminds me of the High Line in New York. It's so similar. Just above the hustle bustle of a really busy city. Um, and there's such distinctive smells in Bangkok as well. 
um, pretty nice overall and we're nearly there back in Lumpini Park where we started where we finish Whoa, that yeah was amazing that was absolutely beautiful so glad we did that yeah absolutely awesome like just so much to take in like all my senses were firing yeah um, it's so. quite overwhelming actually yeah. isn't it yeah we just need to find a place over there maybe for a good stretch how are you feeling now now that we're stretching ish I'm quite chilled yeah yeah I feel like I need a coffee, that's for sure. And yeah, breakfast, I'm, we I'm haven't like, had breakfast. I'm kind of like very low energy right now, yeah. in a nice way, but I think coffee and breakfast is good. Let's do coffee and breakfast, come on. Can you see this? Oh, here, can, you get it, can you get it on? Oh yeah, and the back is the same. You've basically got... Two-tone, it's turned yeah. into a two-tone top. It's just sweat and not sweat. Oh. Earned though, like we said earlier in the video, like I genuinely, in a weird way, really like that feeling of sweating. Like I know it can be dangerous if you do it too much and you don't hydrate, but damn, it feels good. Winning. And we're home. Welcome to a segment, a little segment you may not have heard of, you may not know, but it's a little segment called Mary. Okay. <laughs> what is it called? You said. You won't give me anything to work with, will you? No. Ah, that was quite good fun, wasn't it? It was really good. It was beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So much to see and, you know, water trees. Water trees? People, runners, monitor lizards. The works. Uh, but it was a really nice run in general and I'm glad we got out and I'm glad that we did it. Yeah, it's um, like one thing I've had in my head for ages, like, I've got to go to Lumpini Park in Bangkok and I had this dream of running around the parks. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed it as well. Like, I, I don't know how the footage looks yet because we were taking it, I haven't looked back on it, but I'm ho I mean, I'm hoping it conveys some of the beauty of it and some of yeah. the, like, it really was a special, and special it a, run. It was like a lovely clear day and, mm. I mean, super hot. Yeah. But I'm um, not really complaining about that. No, 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 no. We will never complain. We will tell you it's hot all the time. We will never complain because I always whinge about the winter. So, yeah, Lumpini and Benjakitty Park done, linked together with uh, that over high line thing. Yeah, we need to find um, out what that's called. We've got some other things in the pipeline, I guess, coming up. Like, I want to do some harder track sessions, but my hamstrings right now are saying, don't do some harder track mm. sessions. Well, we've got the massage this afternoon, so hopefully that will just ease out the knots and, you know, I think a weekly massage is okay. on the card. Okay, sold. Tw buy it twice weekly yeah. massages, you said. Yeah. Yes, okay, good. Um, if there's things that you want to see that you know of Thailand or of Bangkok, then by all means, give us a shout in the mm. comments of the video. We're, we're keen to kind of get out there and see things. Next weekend, hopefully, I'm going a little bit further north. I think hopefully you're coming too to the university campus oh, yeah. to do, they do like 20 kilometer long runs. So mm. we're going we're gonna to try and get in with a group there, see how that goes. Um, we're going back to the beach in a couple of weeks because it's my birthday, woo, woo, and we're staying in a really lush hotel. Still got to do something for my birthday. Yeah, we still got Mary's birthday to plan for, which was already gone, but there was the world was shut down. So yeah, and it's exciting, and, and this is interactive as much as possible. We we feed off the comments. We love interacting with you, and, and if there are things that you want to see, then by all means let us know. Um, watching these videos, what do you watch them for? Do, is it the running? Do you want to see running in every single video, or or you want to see us exploring Bangkok in other ways? Um, we're really keen to make 
videos that appeal to you and that appeal to us of course but running is our vibe it's just how hard we go on it really um all interesting thoughts but we need to have our breakfast now right let's get on the balcony we'll see you on wednesday you gonna say bye-bye have an um see you soon <laughs> no i can't do the vibes You say, oh, what are you going to say? Okay. Um, have an awesome Sunday. You know I'm probably going to keep all this in. No, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> yeah, I am. See you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs>